Hi, I'm Nikki Freed, Florida's Commissioner of Agriculture and Consumer Services. It's an honor to join you all virtually to discuss challenges we've seen due to COVID-19 and what we're doing to keep Florida moving forward. I want to take a moment to thank Dream of Greens members and staff for facilitating this Healthy Spaces for Our Community Town Hall to help promote a healthy community during COVID-19. A lot of people might not realize just how important agriculture is to our daily lives, to the food we eat and the people who produce it. Steady access to healthy nutrition is already a challenge across our state, especially in South Florida. Three million Floridians struggle with food insecurity, including 850,000 kids who don't know where their next meal may come from. And that was before this pandemic. Food deserts are rampant throughout our state and COVID-19 poses a big threat to the farm workers who work every day in fields and packing houses to produce farm fresh food. At the same time, this unprecedented pandemic is a threat to everyone's health, safety, and well-being. So I wanna share a little today about what our department has been doing to help Florida protect our food supply, our consumers, and children, and create healthier workspaces. For generations, Florida farmers have successfully faced challenges like hurricanes, droughts, and wildfires. And although growers are innovators, they have never faced a challenge quite like COVID-19. When the pandemic struck, our $137 billion agriculture industry was disrupted. Supply chains were upended and growers could not access markets to sell their crops. With a lot of these crops perishable, this led to growers being forced to let their livelihoods rot in the fields. Demand from large purchasers like hotels, cruise lines, and theme parks, which many producers rely on, fell drastically. And our farmers across our state suffered significant crop losses, which led to financial losses of over half a billion dollars just through April. So we had to get creative and think fast to help our food producers. We created new resources like our Florida Farm to You Commodities Exchange to help connect consumers directly to producers and move Florida-grown products to consumers in the community. We've worked with retailers like Publix, Walmart, Whole Foods, and Sprouts, as well as state agencies to purchase more Florida-grown food. We've also launched Keep Florida Growing, a one-stop online portal with COVID-19 and agriculture-related information for Florida's farmers, ranchers, consumers, and the media. As I mentioned, keeping farm workers safe from COVID-19 has also been a major priority for us. 150 million Americans rely on the food we grow. We submitted recommendations to the Governor's Reopening Task Force, asking that farm workers have PPE, access to health care, and COVID-19 testing, and are able to social distance when out in the fields. We've issued safety guidelines for food workers to keep them safe and you as well. Ahead of the fall harvest season, we launched a nine-part video series to provide guidance on COVID-19 safety precautions for farm workers. The safety guidance, available in both English and Spanish, includes best practices on how to stay safe from COVID from fields to packing houses and beyond. Farm workers are essential. They feed our families and our communities, but they face an elevated risk of respiratory illnesses like COVID-19 and often lack access to health resources. That's why we've been working with the Florida Division of Emergency Management, the University of Florida, and local governments around the state to bring additional COVID-19 testing to agricultural counties. These efforts are essential for public health, food security, and our economy, because Florida can't come back from this pandemic without healthy workers and a consistent and secure food supply. One of our most vulnerable populations and one I care deeply about is our children. Our department oversees Florida's $1.3 billion school lunch program. And for many of these kids, these are the only daily meals in which they can count on. So when schools closed due to COVID-19, we jumped into overdrive to make sure Florida's children had a dependable source for nutritious meals. In March, we activated over 2,500 summer break spots statewide that helped serve 74 million free meals for children from March through August. In working with federal partners, we're continuing those meal operations as many students have transitioned into distance learning while allowing for safe food pickup in accordance with CDC safety guidelines. Even while this pandemic reaches record levels, people still are having to go to work, to shop and more. So as Florida's consumer protection watchdog, our department regulates over 40,000 stores, markets, convenience stores, and gas stations. 
and we've asked every one of them to do extra sanitizing and make disinfectant wipes available for customers. It's also important to me that we set an example of COVID-19 safety for workplaces across the state. So our department has taken extra measures to keep our staff safe, allowing personnel whose positions can be done remotely to telework and instituting enhanced measures like plexiglass barriers, appointment-based scheduling, and mandatory mask wearing in our offices that are open to the public. Ultimately, it comes down to every one of us to protect ourselves and each other from this virus. So as we close, I wanna make a personal ask of you and everyone you know, please wear a mask, social distance, wash your hands, be kind to each other, and look out for one another. We've got to be all in this together. That's how we'll come back from this. So thank you to Dream and Green for all that you're doing and together we'll keep Florida growing.